One reason they have these, their predator has a muzzle and animals with muzzles can't tolerate anything sharp. So they'll try it once and then they'll back right off. So they've, they've never had to become an aggressive animal. They've just got these two wonderful ways of looking after. Even when they mate, the female gives off a lovely smell that can attract anything up to 10 miles at a time. But instead of fighting for her like other mammals do, they follow her nose to tail in an echidna conga line through the bush. <laughs> It can last up to a week and eventually she turns around and chooses who she fancies most and they mate, as they say, very carefully. <laughs> so um, she lays her little single egg. They're as soft on the tummy as they're spiky on the outside, actually. But she lays a little single egg into a false pouch. It's why some people confuse them with marsupials. Um, the pouch is there because ants have very little nutritional value. You can't afford to stop eating if you eat ants. Mm. Um, so they have to be able to carry the baby. And it's just a muscle and fold of skin that holds the egg in place. When the egg is, uh, when the puggle comes out of the egg, it has to nuzzle for milk in the same way as the platypus. They also have no um, nipples or teeth. They're going to get their tongues tied there. <laughs> and, hello darling, Edwina always finishes first. Come here, <laughs> Ned, there's that beautiful soft belly. <laughs> that belly. Oh. Well, that's hard to tell because they also have no external sex organs. So we have to wait till they're about five or six and grow a false pouch before we can tell. So last year Eddie and Edwina turned that age and Eddie grew the pouch and Edwina didn't. So we got it totally wrong. So this one's only two. We've got it's a long time before we know what she's, she or he's going to be. So her name's actually Dame Edna just in case. <laughs>